Yes, I mean it's a, it's a very good point that you bring bring about. Uh, the last year has has been challenging in the sense that the, the prices have come down uh, quite a bit, especially around tech companies. We've seen the prices come down over, over 40%. So when you look at volumes, volumes obviously are affected by the fact that all shares are now trading at a lower price. But if we look at the number of shares traded, actually a few weeks ago, we had the record all-time number of shares traded in our market. So, so the volume, if we look at the you know January, February, and March, it's around 145, 150 billion. So it's a little bit lower than the 167 billion on average that we had last year. So, so we we did feel the impact of that slowdown. A lot of that related to to potentially lower valuations. But we look at IPO pipeline, which is one area that you've mentioned. We have an incredible pipeline. The reality is there's over 170 companies that have filed and are waiting on the dockets just to go out there. So, so the interest is there. People are filing. What they're waiting is for the market to become a bit more constructive and a little bit more of a risk on attitude from, from investors. Clearly, investors were affected by everything that's going on around geopolitics, et cetera. So we may have to wait a little bit, but the pipeline is there. Those filings are there, and that pipeline is near an all-time high. Now, recently, we've seen unprecedented moves uh, in nickel trades on the London Metals Exchange, resulting in suspensions and cancellations of trades. Uh, there has been some suggestions of favoritism and that the Hong Kong Exchange shouldn't be the owner of the LME. What are you doing to make sure that similar uh, episodes do not happen again? Yes, um, you, I think you, you, you put the right words there when you say that the, what happened in the nickel market was unprecedented. Started as a result of the Ukraine crisis. It generated some tightness in, in different commodity markets that then went on to the nickel market that saw an increase in one day of 67%. And then at some point, it was over 100%. And, and, and uh, there was a point where we felt that that those did not represent the underlying physical markets. So the LME took certain decisions to make sure that they restore mar market order, 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 the order of the market. And in that context, um, um, we, we, we feel that the board of the LME, the management of the LME, was doing everything in their power, thinking into the market as a whole, maintaining stability of the market as a whole and taking everyone's interest. We participate um, in the LME. We're the sole owner of the LME and we participate through the board. The board of the LME is in charge of the key decisions, and, and uh, we fully support both LME and its management in, in, in what they're doing.